We're actually putting the, our Christmas tree up. Are you killing it? Are you killing it? Cause I'm, I'm killing it, look. <laughs> Ow! My toe! Red balls. Gold balls. We're gonna put this tree up, then we're gonna go get some food. As you can see, I got my Christmas tree put up. It looks pretty cool, right? So I rented it out the 16 to 35 F4 because it has the in body stabilization, and that's what I wanted. And after reviewing a little review just now on YouTube, it says that F.4 has a sharper image than the 16 to 35 2.8. So that's why I'm getting that. Plus, I got this, my 24 millimeter. If I wanna go to 1.4, and I can do that. I wanna get the 16 to 35 F4 because I wanna just test it out with vlogging. So, boom, I just got it. Right there. The creative hats are in. We got these nice, cool creative hats. They're maroon. See the distress on top. Got a big, long strap, too, which is pretty cool. These are by far probably my favorite creative hats yet. The maroon. I got more of the beanies. Classic all black beanies with creative on them. These are awesome for the winter fall. I have these limited edition ski masks with creative on them. Now, disclosure. These are not for any bad causes. These are just for the cold weather in the winter and the fall and also I got them because I'm gonna wear mine when I go jogging in the mornings when it's really cold. All right, so let's go get this lens now. <sighs> here we go. And this a cool little pillow. Aperture is so cool. Let me get my stuff. Hey. Hi, I'm ready to pick up. All right, sir, what's the name you So this is the 16 to 35 F4 and it's got image stabilizer in it. So I'm gonna see what's up with this cool guy for Vlogmas. I'm excited to play with this. Look at that. Beautiful glass right there. So, I'll see you back in January. All right, thank you. Cool, so I just got that lens, 16-35, right here. Ooh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on because I don't wanna wait any longer. I wanna throw this guy on right now. Whoa, whoa, look how wide this is. Holy cow, whoa. This is kinda sweet. Yo, I'm going back to the house. Oh my gosh, I can't get over this. Look how wide by this is. This is the cool thing about a wide angle lens, man. You get a super cool look. Look at how much shows like compared to my 24. I might have to buy this lens, man. Let's get really close. Whoa. As creative people, man, I think that we are like crazy people. Like, everybody always tells me, like, my girl, my mom, my friends, they're like, yo, you move so fast and you do so many different things. Like, you're like nuts. Like, and I think as like creative people, we just, we get all these different ideas running through our head and we're always moving fast paced. Like, I just got back home, I took a shower, I got a bunch of different ideas. I have six edits. I have six music video edits to do right now. Six edits right now and they're behind. All of them are at least like a week behind. So I have to get on the edits. I had to do one yesterday. I, I ran out of time. I just got my new creative hats in. I'm like rushing and trying to do all these different things. It's like, I think creative people are just crazy. So with that being said, I didn't get to finish the video yesterday. Hold on, let me put this cologne on. Now I have to get that one done today as well as the one that I plan on doing today. Success only comes with structure. You have to have a structured lifestyle to be successful. Yo, so with that being said, you have to have a schedule like this. This right here. You have to have a schedule where you have things going on every single day. You have to figure it out. A lot of structure needs to be done. What time is it? It's three o'clock. My girlfriend gets off at five o'clock. She wants to go to the movies tonight at seven. So I have to get these videos done before at least six o'clock so I can have like an hour of prep time to just get back into personal normal life. It's freaking crazy. So when I say structure is important to be successful, it's very important. You have to structure these things. I got up at eight o'clock this morning. I got ready and did all that stuff. And then by nine, I was on the edit. So I plan on doing an edit from nine to one. Then I ran thought let's go rent this 16 to 35 millimeter lens today so I had to go pick that up at 1 30 which messed up my schedule that I wanted to edit 1 to 5 on the second music video that I needed to do now it's 3 o'clock I'm way behind I gotta get this stuff done I think I'm losing my mind Nah, it's not that I'm losing my mind I'm just really creative and I gotta get to it so now I'm about to edit these videos no I don't have both of the videos done yet but Yeah! Yeah! Dang. Oh! There's fire. All right, next, what's up? Oh, my new running shoes. Oh! And we got Ace's little sneakers. 2.0 Hirachis. All black. Let's get it. All 
I don't know if y'all seen that Instagram story where it goes bum bum bum. That's pretty funny. <sighs> Woo! Holy cow! Are you kidding me? Whoa. This is 24 millimeters and this is 12 millimeters. Holy cow. I went back to Aperture Rant and I took the Canon 16 to 35 back and I got the Sigma Art 12 millimeter to 24 millimeter F4. And this is it right here. Look at this thing. This thing is so huge. The glass is so nice on it and it's so wide. Holy cow. So I put this lens onto the GH5 and it looks so freaking fire. I think I need to do a test video with the GH5 and the uh, 12 to 24 millimeter because I usually use the 18 to 35 Sigma art on my GH5 because of the crop sensor, but I think 12 millimeters looks even better. It's wider. Oh my God, I need to go try this out. I think I'll be testing these two combos and putting it on the channel because I got this lens until January. Woo! I got a package in from Glide gear shout out to glide gear thanks guys for sending me this this is it's like a point of view rig where you strap on to your body and you strap your camera on and you can get all first person point of view stuff going on or turn around and have it looking at you so i'm gonna be using this for my vlogs i'm gonna use this in some music videos it's gonna be dope let's unpack it and see what it looks like i'm assuming this is the mount for the camera right here this is the body vest obviously um, I don't know how this works yet. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Um, I didn't see any instructions. Might be kind of wild. Can you see if there's instructions in there? No. There's like a lot of different stuff on here. All right, cool. So we'll tighten it up, I guess. Boom. Oh, it feels pretty good. Snug. There's a thread on one side. You got this cool arm to move stuff around with. And there's also a thread on this side. So one's gonna go into the vest and the other one's gonna go into the camera. So now I'm gonna put the camera onto this right now. What? Oh no. Well, this is the best I could get it to work for right now. It's only a 24 millimeter. It looks pretty cool. You could be going cool with like a music video like this or something. It's really heavy and it's knocking it all the way down. It keeps going down. It won't sit up, and then even if it sits up like this, it's too close. So I can extend it out a little bit like that, and then let's tighten it up. See what happens. Boom. It falls all the way down. Close up in the grill. Let's see if this works. Nope. All the way down again. It really upsets me. Dang, man. Let's try the T2i. Alright, so the T2i was trash. This actually works. This is looking pretty dope right here. So what I got on here now is the 6D Mark II with the 12 to 24 millimeter Sigma art. So if you have a really wide lens on here, it will work, it'll work out. You can do the first person view, doing stuff like that. Look down at my feet, look up, pick up a knife. So this looks pretty cool now. Only thing is this camera, this lens is really, really heavy, which is actually a thumbs down. The T2i was a fail. With the kit lens, it wasn't wide enough. It's a crop sensor, obviously. 24 millimeter, not wide enough to actually get the look you want. So you need a wide lens. I'm thinking maybe a fisheye lens on the Rebel series maybe would work good. Because it would be lightweight and not too heavy. Let's try to turn it around and see how it looks on me. Yeah, so you can't push it out too far because it just falls all the way down to my waist. I was really excited about testing this thing out and it's just not working out. I think it's meant for smaller cameras and lighter lenses. So if you have a lighter camera, a lighter lens, this will be an awesome, freaking awesome thing for pointing at your face for music videos, have an artist wear this and rap the song while they're walking around a party or, you know, whatever, walking down the street rapping or whatever the case may be. It's a lot of dope stuff you can do and then you can turn around and do first person stuff with your hands like picking up a gun shooting somebody you like whatever you know whatever the story is in your video i guess i'll keep this around it's really dope man i wish i could use it and utilize it this is what happened ow just pinched me ow i want it to go be up like how do i get it higher my head be right here the first snow of december in atlanta this is probably the most i've seen it snow since i've lived here this is so dope right now
Oh, my God.